I'm William. This is the wine room at Putnam Market in Saratoga Springs, and we're talking about why wine costs the way it costs. And we talked about packaging, we've talked about winemaking, we've talked about the cost of the land. But probably the biggest single cost is the uh, cost of bringing it to you. So um, if you're looking at something which is relatively uh, inexpensive, say something which is going to be retailed at $10, that's probably going to leave one of those big, big wineries down in the Central Valley where the vineyards are, have rows of vines 9 and 12 miles long. It's going to leave uh, at something between, leave the winery something like 2 or $3 a bottle max. I mean, that's why when you think about um, two buck chuck, going directly to Trader Joe's in um, California, it can be put on the shelf because there's no uh, middlemen involved. But for everyone else, there is, and it's mandated in the state of New York and many other places by law, it's mandated that the winery has to sell to a wholesaler. And this wholesaler will take the wine and will take something like 20% uh, margin on it. So that takes the price up to around $6.00. And finally, it'll go to a uh, restaurant, in which case the restaurant, but if you look at the number of people that there are in a restaurant, you can see that there's much more labor involved than there is if you're retailing it. So the restaurant will look to charge you something like $20 for that bottle of wine, whereas the retailer buying it at $6 will probably sell it to you for 9 What happens at that level of course gets magnified quite dramatically when you've got something like this. And this wine probably leaves Chateau Montalina at around $20 a bottle. By the time the um, uh, wholesaler has shipped it across the countryside and taken uh, their reward for so doing, it's probably around uh, $40, $45 to um, a, a retailer and the retailer will probably sell it for around $60. So that's why that really costs a lot of money and the barefoot or two buck chuck costs so much less. But it's also the reason why that were you to visit Chateau Montalina, and I absolutely recommend that you do, but were you to, they will be very, very keen indeed to sell you this wine and to ship it themselves directly because there they will be selling a bottle of wine which otherwise would have to be sold to a distributor for 19 or $20. There they will be selling it for $60 and all the money goes directly to them. And I'm not saying that they don't deserve it, but next time you find yourself in a tasting room and you're just about to pull out the credit card and say, yes, send me five cases of wine. Don't be surprised if you see a delighted smile on the proprietor's face.